Hello everyone and welcome to this week's scripting quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be explaining all I can about using ExtendScript in Windows 10. Now I recently upgraded my computer, uh, which made me pretty much pick Windows 10 to be able to use the newest Adobe programs. And this can be quite limiting for using older applications that are 32 bits like ExtendScript. Now as a developer, I'm keeping my old computer, which has Windows 7 and it also has uh, basically all the After Effects versions from CS6 to CC2018. And I'm keeping that for development purposes, compatibility for past versions of things, and all sorts of testing that I may need to do. And a lot of people actually really like ExtendScript for a few reasons, mostly that you can check out the data browser and use the object model viewer that directly links to Adobe programs. And some of the ExtendScript plugins for Visual Studio aren't that great and don't allow you to directly connect the programs, um, but I've worked out a few of these issues and can help you out today. Now, that's not to say I'm not using Visual Studio Code. I'm using both right now as I make the transition because ultimately, these may be totally phased out to where you can't even use them whatsoever. I just want the quickest workflow to be able to script, have access to uh, any of the properties and methods available in it, as well as an easy way to connect to the programs and launch and debug scripts. Before we get started with this quick video, I want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for updates on code and Instagram as well to get live updates. If you're not a member of our Discord server, come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you're not a member on our YouTube channel, you can join and get cool perks while learning and help us out financially by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or a VIP. So this link will be in the description. This is one of two ways I'm gonna be discussing how to get ExtendScript on your Windows 10 computer, because if you're using the Creative Cloud application, it's no longer able to basically allow you to download it through there. Uh, you can get an older version, which I believe is the same as CS5, which is available in the link in the description, uh, which Adobe gives for free. Uh, basically, it's ExtendScript version 3.5. You can also get version 3.5.1 if you want. Um, and it even has older versions. And this will allow you to download it directly, have access to a couple of scripting documents, and install it on your system. Now, of course, this is older, but ExtendScript is designed to basically figure out which versions of Adobe programs are on your computer, and you can link them. The biggest tip I have for this though is you want to make sure you run as administrator. Oftentimes Windows 10 requires a bit more privileges than no a normal OS, and this basically will ensure that you have access to be able to click on the link to After Effects button and have it load up. Now I have had issues with it getting to work with Premiere, and I get this issue. It could be another admin issue that I'm not aware of. Um, if you have any insight to this, let me know. But I also have the ability to launch other programs like Adobe Illustrator and uh, things like that and link directly to that. So maybe the only current limitation I've found is Premiere Pro linking. Maybe that can be fixed by changing the uh, permissions of my Premiere Pro executable. But the biggest tip when using uh, one of these downloaded or moved ExtendScript versions is to make sure you run it as an admin or maybe go into your EXE information and set that to run as an admin no matter what, because that seems to be the biggest issue I've faced. Now, I have two versions of ExtendScript on my new computer. The one that I was able to find in the archives, which is CS5, and I also have the ExtendScript Toolkit CC version, which is the last version I had on my old computer before Adobe forced all the updates and all that. So what I did was simply copied the folder uh, from my old computer and pasted it here. And when I run this as an administrator, just like the other application I'd recommend running as an admin, I can also link to Adobe programs and have more up-to-date uh, information with this newer version of ExtendScript, which I believe is uh, version 4.0. Yes, it does have a limitation that I just copied this over. It doesn't have the object model viewer, but uh, this other version does have it. The only issue, uh, to see the Adobe Premiere Pro object model viewer, you have to be able to launch the application, which it can't do. Let's see if I launch the app manually, can I connect? It appears I can. Let me just double check by saying alert app dot project dot name. So it appears if we launch the app manually, we can get it to link, but it, uh, it doesn't have the ability to launch it itself. So that may be the only limitation I found so far. And now we should have access to the latest Adobe Premiere object model, which is perfect. This contains a lot more information than I've ever seen. 
and it has the QE information, which I had no idea about until I just tested this. That's gonna be an upcoming video. I'm gonna go over a lot more QE stuff now that it is documented in this. And uh, that's pretty much it. You can copy this code from an old computer if you have it, um, or you can get it from the Extend Script archives on Adobe. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of when new videos come out. And of course, hit thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub to get updates on code. And down there as well, you can follow us on Instagram for other cool updates. If you're not a member of the Discord server, come on over and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, and much more. And if you want to help out the YouTube channel and get cool perks at the same time while you learn, you can become a VIP, premium supporter, supporter, or member. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.